A B tree map uh, stores information differently from a hash map, but uh, fortunately, you use it in, in pretty much the same way, and it's so uh, it's so similar when uh, when you're just uh, using it that uh, you can just make a few small changes if you want to uh, switch to a B tree map, and uh, I'll just show you with with our example first, just uh, just how easy that is. So here, standard collections hash map we change that to B tree map, and then over here we change hash map to a B tree map. And then population is going to be a B tree map new, and uh, I think we're done. And there you go. Now uh, you can see we're getting getting the uh, the keys and the values in the uh, the same order we put them in. So every time it starts with uh, this one: 1372, 1851, 2020. And if you look at the uh, the documentation, it's. Uh, you know they talk a lot about uh, why they went with a B tree and how it works and so on, and that's uh, that's interesting. But the uh, the important thing for us right now is that it has a lot of the same same methods. So you can see, uh, let's see, there's this thing called entry. We'll look at this later. B tree map has it. There's get. We're going to look at get right now. There's insert. We already did insert into keys into values. Uh, iter mute, you know, remove. So it's basically, uh, you know, if you have a hash map and you want to order, you can just switch it to a B tree map, and uh, a lot of the time it'll be almost exactly the same. So that is uh, good to remember. So don't uh, don't forget about B tree map because you know everybody everybody knows the name hash map, and B tree map is a little bit uh, less common, but it's quite useful. So let's uh, let's access some uh, some stuff in a hash map. Uh, we're going to put in some. Uh, going to use a different example this time. So collections hash map, and we will just uh, get some uh, get some Canadian cities. So we will make a vec, and we will call uh, call these cities Calgary. That is my hometown, Vancouver lived there before. Gimli, never lived there. Uh, that is a tiny place in Manitoba uh, with lots of Icelandic people originally. German cities. We are going to put in Karlsruhe. Karlsruhe. Bad. Doberan. Doberan. And uh, Bielefeld, which is a famous German city. And then uh, we're going to make a uh, this thing called a German hash map. And then we're going to, uh, now we have our new hash map here. We're going to populate this. And uh, let's see, for city in Canadian cities. And then we're just going to use insert. So city hash map dot insert. And we are going to insert uh, the city. And we're going to say, this is Canada. So it'll say like Calgary, Canada, Vancouver, Canada, Gimli, Canada, and then the same thing in German cities. And then we will do city hash map. We'll put it inside the same one and uh, Germany, Germany. So we'll do that. And then, so here is, uh, let's see. So one way to access the uh, the keys in a in a hash map is just like with a, an array. You just uh, you would just uh, you know use the square brackets and uh, write Calgary or whatever. And uh, just like an array, if it's uh, if it's not in there, then it's going to uh, it's going to panic. And I'll just show you uh, what that looks like. So so we have a city hash map, and here we have. A, Bielefeld and Bielefeld exists, so it is going to uh, it is going to show it's going to show us this. So it uh, we put in the key and then we get the value of Germany because Bielefeld exists. And if we were to do put an extra D because this Bielefeld does not exist, then uh, there you go. So it panicked at no entry found for key. And that's just like uh, accessing, uh, 
you know, an array or a, or a vec. And so here we uh, we use the same method that you uh, that we saw before that returns uh, an option, and we write uh, get. And then we will say bila filled, and then we also see if bila filled exists here. And so this will return either some or none. And see Bielefeld exists, so it gives us some, and then Germany, and also Bielefeld doesn't exist, which because uh, it's got an extra D, and then that'll return a none. And then we would do the same thing. We would uh, we would match on uh, we we could match on this to take out the value. We could uh, unwrap. We could use uh, if something something is some, and then we can unwrap, and that would be safe. Or we could do an if let, and then we would say like, uh, let's say some you know city name equals, and then city hash map dot get, and then Bielefeld. So that's how we would uh, do it. Just uh, exactly the same as with uh, all the other options that we've seen up to now.